done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. Our first step is to draw a rectangular block of copper. So here's the block with all the dimensions labeled. We've color-coded the different faces of the rectangle because as we will see momentarily, we're going to have to make different calculations depending on which face of the rectangle we're looking at. Now we recall from this chapter that current is simply equal to a potential difference, or sometimes called voltage, divided by a resistance. We also have learned in this chapter that resistance is equivalent to a resistivity times a length divided by a cross-sectional area. So we're going to substitute in this expression for the R. Now that's rather ugly admittedly, but there's a little mathematical trick that we can employ. Whenever you have a complex fraction that takes on this form, you can take this lower term and move it all the way to the top of the fraction. So we can take area and move it all the way to the top here. Now what we want to do is to next imagine that we are looking to the left through the red surface of the rectangular block. Now hopefully we could see that the area of that red surface would be the 20 centimeters times the 10 centimeters. That's just the area of a rectangle. In addition, we would hopefully see that the length looking to the left through the rectangular block would be the 40 centimeters right here. So that will turn out to be the length. And again, the area is simply going to be the 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So those are a couple ideas to keep in mind as we plug into this expression for the red rectangle. We do need to note that the resistivity value for copper is 1.7 times 10 to the minus eighth ohm times meters. That's a value that you could look up in a reference table in this chapter. So here are all the known values plugged in. Just remember again that this expression right here is the area of the red rectangular surface of the block. And then this expression right here is the length as we look that way through the block. It was the 40 centimeters. We've converted into meters by simply moving the decimal point over two times. That's an important step as well. So now we can pick up our calculators and determine the current here. And when we do that, we get 1.8 times 10 to the seventh approximately amps. The unit of current is amps. So we're going to hang on to this result and then we're going to do two more calculations, one for the green side and then one for the blue side. For the green surface, we would imagine that we are kind of looking down through the rectangular block. Now the delta V will still be six volts. That hasn't changed. The area will change though, because now we need the area of the top of this rectangular block. And hopefully we can see that this right here is 40 centimeters and this way here is 20 centimeters. So the area would be 0.4 meters times 0.2 meters. We'll then divide by the resistivity value, 1.7 times 10 to the minus eighth ohm meters. And then the length as we look down through the top of the rectangular block would be this right here. So that would be 0.10 meters. And we can plug this into our calculators. And we get approximately 2.8 times 10 to the eighth amps. So that would be the current flowing through the green surface. And finally, onto the blue face of the rectangular block. This time we're sort of looking in this direction. So we would use an area of 40 centimeters by 10 centimeters for the blue rectangular surface. And then the length would be this direction right here, dimension, I should say, and that would be 20 centimeters. Remember to convert everything into meters. And when you compute that, you should get approximately 7.1 times 10 to the seventh amps. So now we just have to pick for part A the maximum current, which hopefully we could see is the green one. So this would be the correct answer to part A because that is the largest value of the current that we obtain. For part B, the minimum current, we see that 1.8 times 10 to the seventh is the minimum current. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. You're also welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.